right, this one I just stumbled upon the other day, and it I just had to share this one because it's really, really uh, beneficial. So at, running N8N on a remote host is fine. That's easy. But I have a lot of LLMs or a lot of computers here that I want to run local LLMs. And sometimes it's just to save money, and sometimes... Um, uh, you know, you're doing long run uh, processes like you're doing deep research or you're generating images. One of them, I was taking images and making them into videos for like making them come to life, you know, photographs. And um, it just costs money. And so I'm thinking, uh, I was messing around with something. I'm like, wait, this is running on my machine. And if I use TailScale in N8N, I should be able to talk to it. And so what that means is N8N is in the cloud. In tail scale, which I'll show, uh, talk about the pricing in a moment, um, then connects the two. And so now I have a machine over there, which we'll see over here. And this machine's just running in my network. Um, and it's just running LM Studio. It could be Olama, it could be whatever. And so now I can connect to that machine and do those things that tend to cost, you know, take time. There's no rush to get them done. So, you know, I don't care that it won't be the quickest thing or be instantaneous. Um, like I have a business card generation site that the person waits like a few minutes anyways. Now I could do it this way and just send an email when they're done. So if we look the very bright screen, so let me actually scroll down. Oh, I didn't take a screenshot. Okay, so we see it's not expensive, it's free. That's for a hundred devices. So I don't see any issues here. Um, I think this is gonna go well. And so what I did was, per their instructions, I installed it on my Mac, uh, my Linux server in the office here, and the remote server, DigitalOcean on that one, or Hetzner, I forget. And so now, uh, TailScale uh, makes the connections for me, so it makes this kind of private network. And so when I open up my N8N on the remote server, so this is just a regular N8N, I could give this to a customer, they can use it. Um, when I chat with OpenAI, it's something I've been doing with a few projects lately, is I can say, okay, this is my OpenAI, but this is my IP that is related to um, uh, TailScale. So that means, you know, it goes to TailScale and that puts it back into my network here and talks to LM Studio here. So when I go here and say something, it's going to show up in the logs on that machine. So if I go back to that machine right here and go to here and we see some logs, we see it happening because I just basically triggered the logs by going to it. Um, we can come here and, and by the way, that was pretty cool. These are all the models on that machine. So now if I just say hello, we will get some logs pouring out into here. I mean, that's just so nice. And it wasn't slow at all, which was another thing that kind of blew my mind. And I'll talk about that in a moment. So at this point, we're done. Like, I can now just connect like normal to my remote machines and use them. And I'm just floored. Um, the other thing I want to point out, which kind of blew my mind, was I bought a Mac Mini thinking, yeah, 64 gigs, M4. You know, I want to run local LLMs. But then I booted up that machine just to mess around with something. And all of a sudden I realized, okay, here's my Mac Mini Quen 2.5 model with 38 tokens a second, 13.13s um, uh, seconds to the first token. But here's my Mac, I mean my Linux box with a 3060, um, yeah, right there, 3060 with 12 gigs of memory. Uh, on that card. Now I have a fast drive and tons of memory. Well, not tons, only 64 gigs of memory. And um, we're getting like 52 um, tokens. And that really, typically it actually beats it, to be honest with you. That's the first time in the screenshot I noticed one where it lost. So, and it's, it's um, oh, that is beating it. Sorry, 52 a second. And even with the, with the, it's even first token. So, I mean, it's nice. I mean, uh, the speeds of that just were kind of mind boggling because I've been kind of, banking on Mac and, and here I am sitting with this thing here, you know. And I mean that's nice. That's a 3060. It's still expensive, I guess. I think. Man, I bought it back in the time when it wasn't, I guess. Alright, so I just wanted to share that 
amazing like combination here. And so at this point, you know, my cloud NADN is going through TailScale to talk to my local LLM whenever I needed to, just by doing that. All right, hopefully that will help you have some fun there and save some money because that was pretty mind-blowing. All right, thank you.